Well, depending on where you live, just six or seven more weeks of summer vacation. It means less time for parents to get their kids 12 and older vaccinated before the start of the school year. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Brian Collarin. And I'm Alice King. The CDC releasing new guidance now saying vaccinated students and teachers don't have to wear a face mask in schools. NBC 5's Zuri Hoffman explains what this means for you and your kids this upcoming school year. After a very hectic school year, this is well needed time off for many students, parents and even grandparents like Christine and John Cook. They're visiting from Granville, New York, spending some family time in Burlington, and they are already thinking about next school year. Children need to be in person. Though their grandkids are not eligible to get a COVID-19 vaccine yet, some of their older peers and teachers will be going back to school in the fall with the protection of the shot. It makes grandma and grandpa feel a lot better. It's what we need to do in order to beat this pandemic. Children under 12 wearing masks. You know, it may stink and people may not like it, but it's what we have to do to keep our children safe. The Pfizer vaccine is currently the only one approved for those 12 and up. Now the clock is ticking for parents to get their kids vaccinated before school starts, since it takes five weeks total from dose one to the time you are considered fully vaccinated for the Pfizer shot. On Friday, the CDC announcing new recommendations saying vaccinated students and teachers don't have to wear a mask in schools. It is good news for the Union of Vermont Educators, but also leaves room for inconsistencies. It will be enjoyable to return to the joy of learning as opposed to being so obsessed with safety. The union's president, Don Tinney, says he wants to see clear protocols from school administrators when the time comes. I think the question really is how do we protect those students who are unable to be vaccinated when school opens, those 12 and under? And I think we are anticipating some guidance um, and recommendations from the State Department of Health. Vermont's Agency of Education tells NBC5 that they are currently reviewing the updated CDC guidance and are evaluating it with the Health Department. Currently, the Vermont Department of Health recommends masks for unvaccinated people when indoors. They are continuously holding vaccine clinics. As for the Cooks, they're hoping the vaccine will make the school year a lot safer and more enjoyable for their grandkids. And they're looking forward to the day those even younger than 12 are eligible. Moving forward, we just have to be hyper vigilant. In Burlington, Zuri Hoffman, NBC5 News.